everybody, it's Pam at the Baby Row Post. Welcome to Craft Chat, answering your crafty questions and picking a scrappy contest. Oh no, maybe two winners today, Mr. Troll. That's right, we have got ourselves a little troll and I'm very excited about that because, you know, I think that that's like, hey, uh, you know, I got a troll. I think that's awesome. So yes, somebody is going out there and, and saying, hey, this is Pam at the Paper Outpost. Uh, I contacted you on Telegram or contact me on Telegram. Just notice if you see those comments below, it's not me, it's not real, real, it's fake, it's a little troll. I do try and remove as many as possible, but if you see them pop up, just ignore them. You don't need to interact with them, do any of that stuff. It doesn't make a darn bit of difference. Let's just show them we're gonna have fun anyway, no matter what. So instead of one little giveaway, I'm gonna do two giveaways. One is gonna be for the scrappy contest and one is going to be a surprise. That's right, it could be anything. It could be a craft supply, it could be some old book page, it, it could be a digi kit, it could be a tool, it could be some colors, some pigment, I don't know. I, I'm just gonna look around and see something fun and send that to somebody for just the heck of it. Thanks to you, Mr. Troll, you are upping the ante. We are gonna have even more fun just because you're here. Okay, so uh, yes, I do try and block them and get rid of them, but you know, they have their ways, whatever, whatever. They're not gonna stop our fun. All right, so what I'm gonna be making in front of all of you today is I'm in dire need of neutral paper clips. Apparently I, I rummage through my pile and I have color in most of my little altered paper clips. So yes, yes, Pam again is gonna be making paper clips. Um, so you can just never have too many of these. It's a great way to use up scraps too. And I'm gonna answer your crafty questions. I can walk and chew gum, I think. We're gonna give it a go, let's see. All right, so our first question is Donna Swisher says, wait, what, is there a continuation of this? Seems like there should be more. Oh, I think she's referring to stuffing the neutral junk journal video. I think that one just came out a little while ago. And lo and behold, my big fat chubby finger probably hit the button and cut it off. And I just had to make the quintessential decision of whether I was just going to move forward or um, stop and re-record. I just decided, you know what? I'm just moving forward. <laughs> um, and I think that's my philosophy this year coming up. And that's my philosophy in crafting too. Um, just, you know, work with what you got instead of trying to reinvent the wheel 100,000 times. Just work with what you have and have fun with it and go forward because... I'm gonna make a lot more videos and uh, I got a lot more ideas coming your way. And uh, you know, if maybe you're tired of hearing my, my outro, my, uh, hi, I have a free monthly emailed newsletter. Um, guess what? You got to skip all that this time. Yay, <laughs> I know, right? Um, so we're just going to embrace the, the joy of it all and for what it was and what it can be and what it can mean to others going forward. And uh, I don't know, I'm just gonna have fun, keep going, that's it. Um, okay, let's see what we got here. I'm just layering. I'm layering and collaging. I just felt like collaging today. I have these beautiful broken newspaper pages, which I just love. And uh, I just thought these would be fun to work with. What are you? We could maybe put you on here. You're something different. Okay. And there, I just have that. And that's a little um, paper clip. And I can put something on it. But right now, I'm just going to make some bases up. I think that's a good place to start. If you don't know where to start, start with a base because you can always go from there. And if you make neutral bases, <clears throat> then you can use them. You can tailor them to different with different colors as you go, or you can just leave them neutral because sometimes your pages are colored. And I see how I tore that and I didn't even rip it or cut it because it's, it's easier, it's faster, and it gives you a cool edge. Um, so there you go. I put the little loop on the inside, the big loop on the outside. This is the way I do it. There's no right or wrong way here, but I, I'm gonna stop putting my arm across here. I'm gonna put my glue over here. So there we go. And uh, I'm just gonna put some glue down. And uh, so yeah, there you go. Um, Elizabeth Royko asks um, for the same video, stuffing the neutral junk journal with ephemera and goodies. Uh, she says, I love the trees digi kit. Can I buy the print version? Yes, you can buy the print version. I do have a print and mail service for my digi kits in my Etsy shop, Elizabeth. It is, um... <clears throat> okay, let's try this, let's try it. Uh, glue stick this time, or maybe it was last time too, can't remember. Uh, it's been ages, ages I tell you. Um, you can buy, them. I do them in packs of 10 if I uh, print and mail them to you. It just makes more sense uh, for all the shipping costs and everything. So um, if you pick out 10 names of digi kits and you either send that list to me via Etsy message or via my email address, which is pam at the paper outpost .com, and then you buy the print and mail option, 
it, it include it's one flat fee. It includes free priority shipping. You do not need to buy each individual digi kit in addition to that. And um, you just go for it. And uh, I will send you 10 printed digi kits on lightweight cardstock paper. And um, that gives you um, 50 printed pages total. So you got lots to play with. It's a, a fun thing to do. So if you have an interest in that, maybe you can find some other digis that you like. And uh, there you go. Um, Carmel Gerdson asks, I love, uh, this is referring to the Junk Journal Craft Chat last week. She said, I love the Neutral Color Series and really loved your idea just of just one word stamped on your book scraps. Where, please, do you get these awesome single word stamps like vintage, journal, wisdom, um, and other words you have used? Uh, some of them, okay, okay, um, a lot of them I buy used either on eBay or Etsy, and um, I just look for uh, rubber word stamps or rubber uh, sentiment stamps. Um, they, they also come in silicone stamps, but I like using the rubber ones. I, I don't know why, it just feels more old school, more like I'm a, I'm a, I don't know, I feel like more of a bookmaker when I'm using those, but there's perfectly fine to use the silicone stamps. Just when you're storing your silicone stamps, make sure that you um, don't have them touch each other that because they will become one. They, it's kind of weird the way they all melt together. So just word of wisdom if you're, or words of the wise, not word of wisdom, words of the wise if, uh, yeah, you don't want them all to become one big silicone blob. Yeah, do that. And uh, this is kind of cool. We can use some of this. And... Um, Yeah, I pretty much buy used stamps, unless I'm really h looking hard for some word or something that I want, um, which even at the word journal, uh, I, I just found a used stamp that said journal on it, and I went with that, so I like that. But let's say you're, you can't find that or you don't have that. If you have the ability to either type an email in the body of the email, or if you have Word, you can just type out a bunch of words in pretty different font and then just save that to your computer and then just print them out at will. Like just print a page of the word journal or print a page of the word wisdom and dreams and wishes and hopes and, uh, you know, just kind of copy and paste the columns over and you can have tons, tons to play with. Um, or I can print them out for you if you are so inclined. No problem. And let's see, this is uh, from, uh, oh, this is an old ledger page that I'm using. I love, love, love old ledger because it lets you look back in time to see what people really bought, uh, how much they paid for things, what types of things they purchased. It's not adulterated by Hollywood's version of what they think they did, bought, said, that type of thing. That's why I also like um, old um, diaries and um, autograph books because uh, they give you the reality uh, or you know, what people were willing to put in print. And you could kind of tell who had a crush on who in, in autograph books and things like that. You know, you let it slip a little. You know, you really like it, but, you know, babies and kisses and stuff like that. It's kind of fun. You know, a little peeksy, you know. Oh, you know, we're all little nosy pants to some degree. Oh, look, I have writing on here. That's cool. I should put that on there. Um, see, sometimes you discover things with your own scraps while you're doing it. Um, do I have a smudge on my camera? Does it look clear? It looks fuzzy for some reason. Let me, well, where are you? Uh, oh, no, I should probably not use my fingers. Okay, how are we gonna do this? Get it, get a little cloth. Yeah, I feel like there's a smudge. Okay, I'm coming in. Now we have a cloth. Okay, hold on. Just don't move your chin, stay still. Okay, there we go, I think that's a little better. All right, you know, little greasy fingers every once in a while. Little inky, dirty, uh, crafty fingers going on over here. Um, okay. Well, let me put a little paper clip in here. And let's see what's it. Oh, we got, oh, this is a really old paper clip. I love that. This probably came from one of those old business paper collections that I found. Um, I, it's heavier, it's solid. It almost feels like um, a different material than a regular paper clip. Uh, yeah, the quality back then was just so different, so different. I think I'm going to put regular glue in here, or the Fabrifix. That's this glue, in case anybody's wondering. It's a clear silicone glue. You know, you know. Um, <laughs> okay, um, that was, okay, let me mark the little three hearts that these are answered. Okay. Um, 
Kyle McDaniel asks, Hi Pam, I'm totally loving this video. Referring to the video called Placing Your Embellishments, Decorating a Junk Journal. Um, uh, decorating a neutral junk journal. Uh, I am totally loving this video. Thank you for all your creative ideas. I have a question. Where did you get your glue bottle? I looked on Amazon and can't find a refill bottle with a metal spout. Is there a special name for it? Yes. This is called, I can show it to you, Sugar Bell's icing piping bottle that comes with the metal tip. This is the larger one. I think this is the larger one. There's an eight ounce and a four ounce, but um, this is just, maybe that's a four ounce. But, um, these are so handy, gives you a nice thin stream. I do have a link in my Amazon shop uh, that does help me, but you don't pay more for the item, but you can get it anywhere on Amazon or um, probably most of the craft stores that have a baking section, they have this or some version of this with a small metal uh, spout tip to make your crafting easier because that's what we all want, right? We want easy crafting, you know, you know just, we just wanna have fun, that's it. Just keep goofing around with the papers, diving in, Finding the piece amongst the papers. All right, what do we got here? A nice big piece. Let's see, now I, I need to layer more. Okay, if I'm ever going to use up these scraps in life, you're going to have to layer more. Okay, get in there and layer. All right, I'm layering, I'm layering. I like layering. I think layering is fun. I think it gives it kind of a, like, um, almost like a roof shingly sort of. That, I don't know, I just think it's kind of cool. And then what was I going to put on? Oh, yeah, I had some of this stuff. That looks kind of cool. See, I don't even know what that is, but I'm just going to put it down. Yeah. Okay, I think it needs a circle of glue. Nothing really has to make sense when you're making things, so maybe break free of the it has to be logical or anything like that. Like just throw that right out the window and and see if you have more fun with the illogical. And it, and if you have more fun with the logical, roll with the logical. You you got to follow your own little drummer. And remember, these aren't necessarily dunsies. Or they are, depending on what you like and, and what you're putting it on. If you have something really colorful and, and noisy, maybe you want to put on a very simple altered paper clip to hold it in place. Okay, so I do like to make a lot of altered paper clips because um, I play with a lot of old ephemera, old, oops, old papers from days gone by, and um, sometimes I don't want to destroy the papers. Don't, don't look at any of this, okay, as a representation of that. But... Um, and it, sometimes I want to keep them whole, and uh, I just want a pretty little altered paper clip to clip it onto a page. So that's why I'm making bajillions of these. And uh, yeah, I use them up like water. So um, here we go, making more. Thanks for hanging out with me. Um, all right, so let us uh, let's do one more question, and then we will have one scrappy contest winner, and then we'll have the second. Uh, unusual find we'll call it the unusual find contest winner um closer to the end okay here we go um uh diana lund says love the scrappy chats are you working on additional journals while you are creating the neutral journal do you sell journals only on etsy or do you make journals for people on commission great questions okay um i'm always making journals yes i make journals more than what you see here on video because um i, I could just i can when I talk through them, it takes me more time to make the journal, and um, I can make them faster when I shut my mouth, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> so, uh, and I really enjoy making journals, so it's a lot of fun for me. And uh, your brain goes to a different place when you're not focused on what you're saying. And my journals, they they come out, they, they're different. They have different personalities. Um, and I like both experiences. So I like talking and crafting with you guys and I like you know just crafting alone and yes believe it or not there is quiet time in the paper outpost where nothing is said Sunny isn't having a pup date um there's no birds chirping you see there's no birds chirping right now um and it's just quiet time it's very relaxing and uh, yeah I enjoy that and um that happens so did that answer your question sometimes I go off on tangents um is okay did that one there's captcha yeah. Okay. Do you sell journals only on Etsy or do you make journals for com uh, people on commission? Um, right now I only sell journals on Etsy. Um, I don't make journals on commission, um, really basically because, uh, and I think this might be a common fear of junk journal makers is that if you make something for somebody and then they don't want it or don't like it, and then you end up with like, 
a purple Alice in Wonderland journal with Emily's name through it all, and then the person doesn't want it, and then what do you do with it, you know? So, um, and for me, I like to play out of the box and just have fun, and I can do that more freely for my own enjoyment. Maybe it's a little um, uh, selfish, but um, I can just play and not think about it and have fun and be free. And then I figure if somebody likes what I made, then they're truly liking what I made and, and not, they didn't have a preconceived notion of what it is. And I just, I don't know, I feel like there's a lot more pressure to, you know, in a commission journal. Um, but I think there are a lot of people who do make commission journals and they make gorgeous, beautiful journals. So those folks are out there, seek them out and find them. And I think you will be very happy with what you find. Um, I mean, I, you know, honestly, there's nothing special about my journals per se. I just make journals. A lot of people make journals and there's a lot of fun in making them. Um, I really want you guys to make them because I think that's where the real fun lies. Um, and I'm thinking that uh, there's a, a lot of people who collect ju junk journals from other people, which I think is kind of cool because you can really get interesting ideas from other people. One of the first ladies who bought a journal from me, she... Um, said she buys journals from new junk journal makers, and that was her thing. That's what she liked to do. And uh, I guess from her point, it, the cost was probably lower because, uh, you know, people are newer. And um, if they're up and coming, it may be worth more money one day. Or she just liked the idea of supporting somebody who was new in the business and wanted to give them, um, you know, encouragement to grow. And that's, that's what I got from I was really um, thankful and appreciative of somebody actually giving me a chance. I mean, I thought I was scared to death, honestly, terrified, scared to death when I sold my first journal. I must have checked that journal out a million times before I finally sold it. I let it go. And, um, uh, you know, just, I mean, I, I get it. I understand the fear. And, uh, you know, is everything going to stay together? Is it going to fall apart? Uh, which, will they like it? What will they say? Will they will they say anything? Will they give a review? Oh, my God, what if the review is bad? Then everybody's going to think my journals are horrible. Oh, no. And uh, it's just, yeah, yeah, there's a lot of mental stuff. But I would say, oh, look at that. I'm not finished. I'm just, like, dropping them and carrying on. What am I doing? Um, so yeah, see, I get a little distracted when I'm doing this. Okay, I like that word. We want that word on there. Um... But I say, just go for it. You know what? If you want to make journals, make journals. Make journals, have fun, and then if you want to sell them, sell them. But don't take stuff personally. Let it go. Um, do your best. Do your darndest. Make sure you're happy with what you did. And, um, you know, it's not inexpensive to make journals. Um, it can be. It can be. Um, but you can sell every kind of journal. And also you know, kind of base it on what you think your journal is worth and um, don't undersell yourself. A lot of journal makers undersell themselves. And I, I, I'm always sad to see that because I think that um, especially women, they tend to charge, uh, in my opinion, they charge less than what they it, what it is truly worth. And I think um, don't be afraid to charge what you really think it's worth. And um, remember, if you have a journal for sale, you only need one buyer. OK, and you don't have to please everybody and you never will please everybody. But if you can please yourself and you can please that one person who buys your journal, you're good. You're golden. That's it. And uh, then it is a good day. Um, OK, so let, let's just let's just have a uh, let's pick a scrappy contest winner. OK, I'm going to put our dunsies aside. Going to leave our little scrappy loos here, bringing the computer over. Hang on. Hang on. Let me uh, get to the YouTube Thing, the random comment picker coming in. Oh, yep, knocking everything over. Of course, this is what she does. Okay, here we go. Now we have 495 comments. Better than the lottery odds. Here we go. Who won the scrappy contest? Da 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 da. Okay, get closer. Da da da. See your name. See your name. Sue Brown. Everybody, clap for Sue Brown. Way to go, Sue Brown. You are the scrappy contest winner of today. December 12th, 20, no, December 19th, no, no, this is, I got the wrong date because I'm, this is today, I'm recording it today, but it's actually going to be, I'm, I'm looking at the, it's, a, it's going to be on December 23rd, 2022, there we go, I'll just get my dates, okay, well, let me just back up here and put my computer back and we'll carry on with questions 
And then we're going to have the uh, drawing for the next prize coming on up. Okay, so let me go to my questions again. All right, we did that one. We did that one. Okay. Um, there is a lot of uh, people want commission journals. Don't kid yourself. If you are, if you have the gumption and the energy and the, you know, go for it because I get asked all the time and I know that people have an interest in it. And uh, yeah, that's definitely a, um, uh, a viable business to have. And uh, do what you love. If you love making commission journals or, or trying to make something very special for someone, like I kind of think it like a wedding cake maker. You know, you're trying to create something that evokes something very personal for that person or what they're trying to portray or portend to somebody else. And there's a lot of folks who enjoy that process. So yeah, if that is in your inner being workings, go for it. Don't hold back. Okay. Next question, Adelina asks on the Junk Journal Craft Chat last time. Good morning, Pam. Do you have a video of how to set up your craft room? I'm in the process of setting up mine and would like to see some ideas. Thank you. Okay, I have a, uh, a craft room tour. It's If you go to my channel and you look in the search field and type craft room tour, I believe it's there. If not, I'll try and put a link to the, this video uh, in the description box below. Um, it was when I completely emptied out my craft room and then reorganized it okay and I would say do your best put like with like that's probably my most important thing to tell people in the world is put like with like because when you're thinking I need to find scissors I need to find glue I need to find stamp re-anchors I need to find when you find yourself saying that often we go to our brain says, oh, I keep that stuff here. But if you put little obscure things in odd areas, it's going to be a lot harder to make or find these things. Okay, now I'm making this backwards. This makes no sense, but hey, it's too late. It's in there. All right. Well, that's a nice. I like that already. So, you know, just some ledger, just some little interesting ledger, you know, nothing more, nothing less. I think it's pretty just in and of itself. I like that. I'm just going to leave that. You know, don't mess with what's working. If it's working, just go for it. Just carry on, like a little journal soldier there, carrying on in the, in the, in the, in the dark of night. Oh, a lot of us craft at night. I know you little crafty night owls out there. I know you're out there, because I can see when you come in. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I'm more of an early birder. I um, sometimes, like today, I woke up at five. And uh, I've decided <clears throat> at this point in life, I'm no longer going to fight the waking up early. If I wake up early, I'm just going to get up. None of that sitting there, you know, forever trying to fall back to sleep for another hour. Um, I'm just getting up. Just getting up. I'm going to do stuff. going to do stuff. Have fun. Make a little coffee. Uh, I ran out of paper clips. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. I got more paper clip. Paper clips. Paper clips. Um, yeah. So, yep, I'm an early bird these days. Don't know why. Just, uh, I think I'm getting excited about the new year coming. Yeah, I, I tend to think, I don't know why, but like seasonally ahead. Maybe that's because I'm a crafter and we tend to prepare a season ahead sometimes. And I'm already like, okay, new year, getting excited about new year, new year stuff, looking towards new things, new ideas, new fun, uh, new projects, um, new ways of doing things, trying some new techniques, maybe playing with some new tools, new colors, um, you know, connecting with new people that have just come along, um, appreciating the, I don't want to call you old people because you're not old people, you're old friends. How about that? Old friends that have been here. That's, that's a much better word, Pam. Yes. Okay. Uh, old friends who have been here. Um, I don't know. It's just, it's, it's kind of, I don't, yeah, there's definitely a happy skip. I don't know what it's all about, but I'm, I'm just going to enjoy it. And when I wake up early, I'm just getting up. Yep. That's it. That's, that's what she wrote. Okay, there you go. Oh, we're making a ton of these today. I think I'm like settling into the, uh, okay, we're crafting together. Yeah, we're crafting together. We're hanging out, we're making stuff. And whether or not you're making neutral paper clips or we're just hanging out and crafting together, like a little craft crop, I think it's called. The paper crop, does that mean that, is that one of those words where you get together, like a quilting bee? Is it a paper crop? See, I don't even know. I need to go out to more of those things. Uh, I, I did start at those and I had a lot of fun and um, uh, but then, you know, COVID came along and everybody went and hid inside. So um, that sort of ended. Um, but I think they're probably doing it again. I should go and say hi to those ladies. They were really nice. Um, 
good friends, like really good friends can be made through those things. So if you're feeling like you're alone or down in the dumps, I want you to know there's a lot of other people out there that are paper crafting and, and maybe it helps pass their time, but maybe they'd like a little connection and interaction too. And people do get together and paper craft physically. Sometimes it's at, um, you know, the paper stores or the art stores, but sometimes it's other places, like just different things going on, you know? So maybe put a boat on there. Why not? Um, let me get a scissor. Reaching, reaching. Okay, where are we at? Okay. That's kind of a cool boat. Oh, a terrible fussy cutter. Oh, we'll just do our best. Just hold your breath and move the paper, not the scissors. I don't, I don't know why. Why can't we move the scissors? All right. Maybe we get a smoother cut or something. Yeah, there's probably some logical reason to it that somebody wrote down somewhere. Um, big rule breaker here. Yeah, I know, I know. But uh, we find our way. <laughs> All right, there we go. Yeah, I just feel like doing something like that. Yeah, that's kind of cute. Maybe we'll give you a little edging. A little edging. This will go cute right on the, the book page, too. Could do something like that right in the neutral journal. Maybe I'll cut out some of these and do that, too. Yep, I like that. All right, so let's give you a little... Oh, there goes my neighbor, but he does not have the dog. Ronnie is nowhere to be seen. Nope, he's going to get the, the garbage can. Okay, that means i got to get my garbage can. All in due time. got to paper craft first. That's way more fun than getting the garbage can. That's cute, right? Um, I right. just want some more dots or something here. I don't know, making it look, look a little more... I was watching these Nordic face designs. Maybe I'll just try and I'll draw some like they were doing. I don't know what, I have no idea what I'm doing now. That look like rune lines or something. I don't know, what was that? Does anybody know it? But it's very Nordic and very um, Viking, right? Yep, anybody would know that if they saw that. There you go. Okay, next question. Oh, look who it is. It's uh, Dee Dee Pyle. Hi, Dee Dee. Um, she says, hi, Al Pam, would you make a junk journal with an exposed fine, exposed spine for us sometime? I'm curious as to how it's done. Hugs to you and Sunbun. Yes, uh, Didi, um, I will again, and I have made many, and I'm going to put some links for you um, so you can find them, but they're in my um, junk, or, sorry, journal construction playlist on my YouTube channel. So if you go in there, you're going to find a lot that have the exposed spine. And exposed spine just means you can see the threads on the outside of the spine that hold in the signature pages on the inside. And that is actually a very easy journal style to make. So if you're new and you're unsure, um, now it's not relegated to less than because these can be very intricate and beautiful. You can put um, knots and beads and dangly things from those strings that are on the outside. You can color them. You can weave things into them. I mean, this is not a, um, a lesser than style. It's just an alternative style that can be played with in so many different ways. And I find it, it's, I mean, it's super easy to do. So um, yeah, absolutely. Remind me to put a link. And if I forget, just email me and I'll email you the link. <laughs> um, uh, but uh, okay, so I've got two links I've got to put in. Do you remember what they are, Pam? the junk journal playlist on how to do the, the journal construction, journal construction covers spines and signatures, I think it's called. Isn't that terrible when you can't remember the names of your own uh, playlists? I know. Oh, well, I'm getting older. <laughs> Have mercy. Okay. That's cute. I like that. Just like that. There you go. All right. And um, I need more paper. Hold on. Okay. I found a book page. Oh, that'll work well. I'll just tear some strips and we'll be off and running. Okay, so next question. Joan O'Ark. Why do you only have 603 thumbs up when you have 4.5 thousand views, which I could give you more than one? I don't know, but I'm very thankful for those 603 thumbs up. So thank you, <laughs> everybody who's putting those. Um, I guess the, the thumbs up helps. YouTube algorithm get my video seen to other people so I appreciate that but I totally understand if you you know you're, you're watching videos and you're watching and you don't thumbs up all the ones you like I know um, I you know I've done that too um, it's okay I mean just have fun first and you know I know when you're really compelled to punch the like button you'll do it and I I don't want to be the one to tell you to do that I think that should come naturally from you and um, uh, that it, it's just more real that way, isn't it? So yeah, I've kind of 
I used to always say, you know, the whole like, subscribe, and share thing, but, and you know what? If you find it interesting enough to like, subscribe, or share, you're going to do it. And um, I'd rather that come from you than me nudging you to do it. Uh, also, thank you. I want to add to everybody who's um, done a super chat. Uh, no, super chat. What's it called? A super thanks. It's, I guess it's like a tipping system. Um, but thank you very much to everybody who has done that. I, uh, that helps my channel again. Again, puts kibble on the table. It is not mandatory or expected in any way, shape, or form. But for those of you who have taken that step, we really do appreciate it. So thank you so much. Um, what else? Yeah, weird things about YouTube. Um, just, I don't know. It's, it's a weird... It's a weird career because it, it just puts you in these the little odd positions in life where, you know, first of all, you're a junk journal making stuff. And then you're thinking you, maybe it's time to sell some. So now you're a seller of junk journals. And then all of a sudden you've, you're, you become a teacher of how to make junk journals. And then, you know, it's like this whole thing just evolves. And, and you know, none of this was planned. It just sort of happened. And... Um, you know, you didn't think that that was what you're going to be doing primarily with your time, and then you are, and uh, then you're you're very grateful for it, and then you're looking for ways that you can bring more fun to folks, um, because I I truly believe that uh, fun is not just for kids. Okay, I mean, love you, love your kids, love all your kids, and you guys are down with it. You get it about fun. Nobody needs to explain it to you. Nobody has to say it's okay to have fun. Nobody has to, you know, nudge you in that direction. But for some reason, as adults, we sort of we forget that part of it, and we we think it's only for kids, and um, we get in this serious mode where we get, you know, we take on all these responsibilities, and everything gets very, very heavy, very, very quickly. And, um, you know, we forget to smile, we forget to laugh, we forget to see the simple pleasures anymore. And um, so that, to me, means more than anything. So whether you're liking, subscribing, or sharing, uh, you know what? As long as you're having fun, my heart is happy. That's, that's it. So there you go. Um, all right. Let's make a few more of these babies. Where are we at? Oh, it's, I think it's that time. It's that time to, to pick another winner. That's right, Mr. Troll. I'm picking another winner just because of you. Because you're trying to monkey with my contest and I'm not going to let you win. Um, <laughs> um, so we're going to have another winner. Yeah. And this is going to be for the unusual object or thing. It's going to be something different. It's not going to be scrappy. And I don't even know what it is yet. So um, we'll just, we'll just, you know, um, we may never find out what I actually send to people. It may be a great big mystery. Um, or if that person wants to put down below, I got a whatchamafubble. That's fine. That's okay. I don't mind. And that will also count as a uh, entry for the following week. Also, if you win one of my contests, you are welcome to um, enter for the next contest. You are not put into a separate pile like you can no longer play the game. No, you can always play the game and have fun. So there you go. How about that? Um, all right. So this last little piece is going to glue it down. Here. Here we go. Scotch Creek glue stick. Making some basic neutral bases here. We we rocked it today, guys. Thank you. Um, lot We got lots done. Now, okay, let me show you what we made. And then we will pick the winner. All right. Oh. What's that? Okay, we'll just use you as you like you. Okay, here's all the guys we made. We did good. Sometimes I, I am crafting and talking and I make one thing, <laughs> you know, <laughs> or two things or something like that. But today, today we smoked it. Yes, look at that. We got some. Back you up a little bit. Okay, because why? We have more, more coming in. Look at all these babies we made. This is so cool. So thank you. Thank you for hanging out. Uh, for and helping me make these because you are my inspiration. They always come out different every time I sit down and make them with you. So, um, yeah. All right. So now you guys stay right there. Don't move. I'm going to pull in the computer again. And we are going to pick the next winner. Dun, da, da, da. So remember Sue Brown. We all remember your name. And uh, so this is how we do it. You have till next Thursday to let me know that you won, Sue. And uh, um just let me know that you won. I already know your name. I wrote it down. So um, that I got you. You're good. And then give me your address so I know where to send the prize. And so I'm not actually reaching out to you. I'm not sending you a message anywhere in Telegram. I'm not letting you know you won the contest. I'm leaving it up to you to contact me. So there's another way to tell if it's a real or a, a troll. 
message. Okay, let's zoom in here and get real close and comfortable. We're just going to pick another one. I think there's a place where we can pick another one. Okay. Yeah, pick another winner. Okay, we're going for winner number two. Here we go. We'll get the names, Pam. Get the names. There they are. Who's it going to be? Oh, Michelle Hutter. Michelle Hutter. We love you like butter. I know you've, you've heard that before, I'm sure. But okay. There you go. Sue and Michelle. Uh, go ahead and email me uh, that you won and the address you want me to send your prize to. And Michelle, you will be receiving some unknown strange thing from Pam. There you go. How fun is that? Okay, it's that time. Is that, it's pup day time, everybody. Hello. Oh, I've been sleeping on my face again, apparently. Mom, you can fix my nose hairs. For gosh sake, Mom, to fix the nose hairs. I can't. They won't, they won't, they won't stay down. <laughs> okay. Oh, hey, everybody. I just want you to know I'm waking up from a grand nap. And um, I have not heard Ronnie again next door. I'm sure he's fine. He's the little dog who lives next door. And I keep an ear out for him. There have been a lot of squirrels. I have been chasing them off the premises. And oh, oh, big update. We saw an eagle. And he looked like he was hunting. He may have been hunting small sunnies. So mom quickly ran out and brought Sunny in. Even though Sunny was in the protected screened area. But mother wasn't sure. So she got him anyway, just in case you know and I was gonna take him on like I was ready to take that eagle on but mom thought maybe not <laughs> okay so we're just we're doing better safe than sorry right yep better safe than sorry <laughs> okay all right love you all thank you Sanban Merry Christmas everybody I really love you <laughs> okay that's from Sunbun. Okay, so here we go, getting very, very close to Christmas. Um, a big Merry Christmas from all of us to all of you. If you don't know, I have a free monthly emailed newsletter, which you get a free digital image emailed to you every month, a checklist of supplies, a note from the bookmaker, um, junk journal uh, tips, uh, page list of ideas, all sorts of fun things. Um, a free digital image emailed to you every month. Just sign up for the newsletter. The link is below the video. And uh, my videos come out Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays, 7 a.m. Eastern Time. I sell fundals to the public. Those are collections of old and interesting papers. 100 plus pages. You get antique ledger, uh, checks, receipts, postcards, uh, black and white photos, music papers, dictionary papers, plus a whole plethora of others that are too numerous to mention. And that comes, the, it's one flat fee. It includes free priority shipping. And um, there you go. And uh, I also have a print and mail service, um, which uh, marries with my DigiKits on Etsy. DigiKits are um, uh, pages of five pages of uh, a whole bunch of, of these types of pictures on different pages, different themes. There's over 190 themes to pick from. There's Victorian and birds and dragonflies and butterflies and celestial and Renoir and Monet and Leonardo and and uh, anatomy and angels and all so many to pick from. And uh, you get five pages printed. Uh, or, or if you just buy the DigiKit, it is a computer file that you download and save on your computer and then you can print them out as many times as you want. You can use any kind of paper that you like. Um, or, and they're always saved for you eternally on Etsy. You never lose them. Let's say you get a new computer or you can't figure out where you saved the, the uh, pictures. Just go back into your Etsy account and um, look under the purchases and you'll find them there and you can just re-download them and print them out from there. And um, I recommend using your Etsy account as opposed to checking out as a guest because it's much easier for Etsy to uh, put your purchases in your own account so it's easier for you to find the stuff that you bought. Okay. Um, uh, if you don't like to print or you don't have a printer, you're not dead in the water. No, you can have these too. I have a print and mail service. It's one flat fee. It includes free priority mail shipping. And all you do is I print out 10 of these kits for you. So that means each kit has five pages full of multiple images. So you get 50 pages full of tons of different images. 
And um, you just send me the names of the digikits that you want to Etsy, through Etsy message or to my email address, which is pam at thepaperoutpost.com. I only need the first two or three words to know which one you're talking about. And uh, I will print those out on lightweight cardstock paper. So they're nice to use for pockets and tucks and journal cards. Uh, they're easy to cut out. I try to make them that way as much as I can for you and me. And um, <laughs> um, there you go. I will mail those off to you. And... I have an Amazon shop if you're looking for favorite tools and supplies. I try and put links to everything in there under my tools and um, favorite tools and supplies section. And also there's books in there, uh, ones that junk journalers like to use. There's another section that has, um, it has field guides and um, old catalogs, uh, Edith Holden, things like that that junk journalists love to play with. So you're going to find links to those there. Um, if you can't find good pricing in there in the books, make sure you like you can get the information, the name, the author, the ISBN number, things like that. And then you can go look for them elsewhere on some other online sellers. You might be able to find them for less. I encourage you to look around and look for the lowest price you can find because they do come in all different prices everywhere. So make sure you have a good look. Try Better World Books. Try Thrift Books. Try you just Google online books. Uh, sellers and they're gonna you're gonna come up with lists upon lists and um, so there's Abe books from England but they still have good pricing to ship stuff to the states so check them Abe is A B E and um, ba -dum -ba -dum. oh um, if you like the phrase create with reckless abandon or everything is a craft supply until proven otherwise you can get that in my merchandise shop or my t-shirt shop um, you'll see the big bar below my YouTube videos you can just click on that and it'll take you to the shop or just click on the merchandise shop link below. Uh, you can get that on a t-shirt, sweatshirt, zip hoodie, mug, tote, or water bottle if you choose. And you can find me on Pinterest, Twitter, LinkedIn, Instagram, Facebook, Facebook group. Come and join our Facebook group. We're having a lot of fun over there doing weekly and month monthly challenges, as well as seeing what you guys make from these videos, which is so inspirational. Thank you so much for sharing the things that you do. And you're absolutely welcome to just join and lurk just to get ideas. That's great. And uh, thank you very much. Um, for the dedication from our admins and mods for helping this be a happy, unified, safe place for everybody to craft and show things. Um, remember, most of all, fun can be simple and create with reckless abandon, everybody. Until next time. Bye. <laughs>